Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this Roblox tutorial series where we'll be making a difficulty chart obby and in today's episode we'll be making a skip stage script as well as a data store service which will save our game. So let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to start a GUI and we're going to create a new screen GUI. I'm going to call this skip stage. All right, so after that, I'm going to add in a text button and I'm just going to call this skip stage button. All right, now I'm just going to change this text to skip stage. I'm going to make this text scaled and I'm going to change the font to something like luckiest guy. Now I'm going to go over and add a UI corner. I'm going to change this to something about of about 12 and I'm going to move this over here. You can make this however you want, but I'm just going to make this like this for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, after that, I'm going to add in a local script and I'm going to call this prompt. All right, so now I'm going to do local ID is equal to. And before we write this, we're going to have to make our a developer product in our Roblox game. So let's head over. Let's head on over to the Roblox website. All right, so now that we're in our Roblox website, we're going to click create. The game that we're working on, mine is called an Untitled Game, and I'm going to do configure experience. Now I'm going to click over here to the creator so that it takes me to the creator dashboard. Now I'm going to go to associated items and press on developer products. I already have a skip stage over here, but I'm just going to create another one to show you how to make it. So I'm going to press develop, make a developer product, and I'm going to choose a name, something like skip stage. And you can make this however description you want. I'm going to make this 15 Robux. Put it over here. Now that I saved that, I'm going to put it over here. And as we can see, we have our stage script. Now let's click on create developer product. All right. So now that we have our developer product, we're just going to go ahead and copy the ID. We're just going to go ahead and go back to Roblox and click on developer products. And now we'll select our skip stage and copy the ID over here. Now let's go back to Roblox Studio. Okay, so now that we're at Roblox Studio, we're going to paste this ID right here. And now we're going to do local marketplace service is equal to game get service marketplace service now we're going to do script.parent dot mouse button one down we're going to do dot mouse button one click connect function and now we're going to do if game dot players dot local player dot leader stats dot stage dot value is larger or equal to length of game now workspace dot checkpoints get children then and now we're going to do script dot parent dot text is equal to max stage and now i'm going to make it and now we're going to do wait to script dot parent dot text is equal to skip stage I'm also going to make it play a sound, so I'm just going to go over it. I'm going to go over to the toolbox right here. And now I'm going to search up an audio's an error sound. I think this is good enough. Now I'm going to put this into our button. And now I'm going to do script.parent.error play. Okay, so now we're going to make it actually prompt the purchase. So we're going to do else. And then we're going to do marketplace service prompt purchase game.players.local player ID. All right, so I found a little error. And if you do this right now, it won't work. And how I'm going to fix this is I'm going to change this to prompt product purchase. And not just prompt so now if we test this out we can see 
that if we press skip stage it will ch it will charge us and don't worry this will not take your robux as you can see so now if i buy this nothing will happen of course because we did not do this uh, the script yet that will change us change locations for us so in order to do this we're gonna head over to our stage storage script and now we're gonna do local id is equal to and just paste the same id over here and then do local marketplace service is equal to game get service marketplace service so now we will do so now we will do um marketplace service dot process receipt is equal to function information so now we're gonna do local player is equal to game dot players get player by user id information dot player id so now we'll do if information dot product id is equal to equal to id then player dot leader stats dot stage dot value plus equals one and then we will do player dot load character and then we will do return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted so now if we test this out you can see that if we do the skip stage and we buy this it will now move us stages so now we're on stage two now if we buy this again we can see that we're on stage three and it works perfectly all right so now that we have our skipping stage thing now that we have our skipping stage button done let's start doing our data store service so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to home and game settings and security and enable studio access to api services and now we're going to go over to our stage storage script and we're going to do local data store service is equal to game local data store service is equal to game get service data store service and then we're going to do local data is equal to local data is equal to data store service get data store and i'm just going to call this data so now over here so now i'm going to make it so that we could save our game so over here i'm going to do local i'm going to do game.players.player removing connect function player and then i'm going to do local success error message is equal to p call function and then i'm going to do data set async player dot user id dot stage and then we're going to do player dot leader stats dot stage dot value and now we're going to do if success then print to string player data has been successfully saved and then else if error message then print error message and now what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna do warn error message and now we're going to retrieve the data and now let's make it so that we could return the data and to do this we're going to do local data is equal to now actually local date local data and then we're going to do local success error message is equal to p call 
function and then we will do data is equal to data with the capital letter get async player dot user id dot dot stage and then over here i'm going to do if success then and then i'm going to do print to string player dot dot data has been successfully returned and then i will do stage dot value is equal to data and i will also do game dot replicated storage clear dot name dot value is equal to data and now I will do if stage dot value is equal to zero and then I'll do if stage value is equal to zero then we'll do stage dot value is equal equal to one equal to one and I'll also do game dot replicated storage clear dot name dot value is equal to one and yeah and then I'll do player load character and now I'll do else if error message then warn error message and I'll also do stage the value it's equal to one and also I forgot to do something really quick we're gonna head over to our we're gonna head over to our script of our checkpoints and I'm gonna do here I'm gonna do and game uh, replicated storage player dot name dot value equal equal to one and I'm gonna do stage number minus game and then I'm going to do game dot replicated storage player dot name dot value is equal to stage number. I'm gonna copy this paste it in all of the checkpoints so let's have a look at the script instead of this i'm going to do player dot leader stats dot stage dot value so now if we have a look we'll see that we spawn here and we can go back we can go forward and we can skip stage now we can go back again well we can go back again maybe go forward and now if i can just leave the game again we're on stage three and i join the game again we'll see that we spawn at stage three and so everything is working just as it should be and the game is saving so now we have all of the scripts for our game properly made and we have all the essential parts for making a difficulty chart obby so i'm just gonna head over so i'm just gonna build myself a nice little difficulty chart obby which is gonna be pretty simple and you can just make this however you want so i'm just gonna speed this i'm just gonna speed this part of the video up
Alright, so I just made the start of this game, but you can make this however you want. I made it pretty simple. I made just a couple of stages over here. So I made the very easy part where you just go over here and you jump over these kill blocks. And again, I just reused all of the models that we created in this tutorial. So nothing new, nothing really special. And you can use everything that you, we've made in this tutorial series. So yeah, that's the end of the tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be posting new tutorials soon. So yeah, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like these and learn more about Roblox Studio.